this is the site from our bedroom tied up so and the bad weather is supposed to hit this afternoon he's on a bucket and bronco trying to get in here one of the reasons you don't want to you know wait till last minute to get in someplace Yep, about plan uh, G about now. Missed. They're going to have to leave. There he goes. On the pike and try to find something else. Tailboat out there, you can just barely see him through the rain. He's he's struggling to get in here. He waited a little too late. And you can see what we're going through. Uh, had a tornado go through last night and leveled a hundred homes, I understand, so it's a good day to be here at River Forest. Probably the most magnificent house in town was ordered from Sears and Roebuck. Thanks for letting us in here. Here we go. They actually brought in two Italian craftsmen. They had eight to ten helpers. And they um, did all the ceiling work, wood carvings. That was not part of the original. Look at the ceilings so in here. Evidently this worked so well that they made this into the ad for their mail order home. I heard there was 21 of these houses sold, or 24, or the same model. Wow. Mm -hmm. Daddy? Which Where one was? is he? Which, 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 which way man is he? Yeah, right this, there. That, that was your father, yeah. okay. And there's his picture up over my head, look. And this was the editor of... Uh, Sports and Field Magazine. Sports and Field Magazine. He used to enter, he, we did the hunting and fishing parties here. In fact, I, what I remember is he shot a goose and it fell and it hit him in the blind and like to hurt, hurt, like to hurt him real bad. You're sure that this was you in 1970? No, that no, was no. you in 1970. I don't know what service you were in. What? I was, it was military prep school, high school. Wow. Uh, well, actually, you look great for what's left of you. <laughs> and, uh, John A. Wilkerson. Who built the house. Right. And he was the president of the... Roper Lumber Company and owned and vice president of Norfolk and Southern Railroad. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, we're going to go all through the house and take right. a look. It's just magnificent. Staircase here. We'll cover the upstairs first. It was they converted this into a restaurant. It's presently set up to do 200 meals an hour. The kitchen's in here. Uh, bedrooms here. Of course just like they would all have 
fireplaces everywhere. Well, I'll tell you what, the woodwork is just phenomenal. And they've got this up for sale. I think he's 700000 I believe he said. And, of course, it, it needs some work, just like anything else. But, uh, what a... What a structure. The old way of heating was steam, you know. They had steam radiators everywhere. And there's a the radiator we were just talking about. That was the old navigation light in front of the one of the fireplaces. There's their crest on the window. Put a round of bread. And there you go. We're coming back in the very top. Where people don't go and, and uh and we're looking around wow look at that um okay what you're looking at here is an old printing press this is how you you would print uh everything from news play papers to uh, Flyers or whatever you go. Here's your paper. Here's your paper right in here. And uh, it would go in over plates. So you'd have plates here. And it would stamp, hold it down to the plate, and uh, ink it. And then it'd come out in this basket over here. and you'd pick it up. I saw these working in, uh, when I was a kid in Claremont. Alright, here's paper for the press. Let's see if we can... So it was used up to 1975 anyway. That's about, you know, I think when the press I was familiar with expired about, about that era and it printed this let's see the River Forest Manor tell me what the restaurant was called you would proof your work the framing board where you would uh, take and, and, and frame out your piece and cut it seen this stuff in a long long time let's get on out of here that's why I don't play uh, I hope somebody will buy and rescue this before it's it's too late Front door entrance, chandelier, National Cash Register. Well, now this has just been a real unexpected treat. <laughs>